The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed in positive territory today following, of course, that big drop of over a thousand points on Monday. Michelle Caruso Cabrera explains just what driving the current market volatile. The major averages finished sharply higher this afternoon after another wild day. At one point, the Dow was down more than 500 points, and then it finished higher by 567 points. It's two days in a row of a more than 1,000-point move. Many Wall Street analysts believe the spark that caused the sell-off of Friday and Monday was new data showing that wages are finally going up in the United States. Higher wages, good news for American workers. However, it also means the Fed may be more willing to raise interest rates. And when interest rates go up, it often hurts the stock market. That's because it becomes more expensive to borrow, whether you're going to buy a house, a car, or new equipment for a company. Also, with interest rates finally rising, some analysts believe investors may become less interested in stocks because you can finally earn interest elsewhere. The days of getting almost zero on your bank account may be over. Key thing to remember, because the rally markets have rallied so much since the election, a move of a couple hundred points actually isn't that big in terms of percentages. Yesterday's massive decline of more than 1,000 points was the biggest in history in terms of points. In terms of percentages, however, it ranks only as the 99th worst decline.